so many new faces out there, familiar faces. Thank y'all for coming tonight. My name is Deidre Vick, and I am a candidate for the Parker County Treasurer. I've been married to Charlie for 27 years, and we have a 26-year-old son, Nathan. As the evidence technician for the Parker County Sheriff's Office, the responsibility of handling the evidence is critical. Part of my job is testifying in court and working with closely with the district and the county attorney's offices to ensure successful prosecution of criminal cases. Before working with Sheriff Fowler, my husband and I owned a successful convenience store for 25 years, which many of you know and were customers as Big Chevron Food Marks. When we sold it in 2007, we knew that that would be my next step in my career and it would be I would use my knowledge and experience as a public servant. If elected, I pledge to have the same dedication to the duties of treasurer, the treasurer's office, as I did maintaining all those years in business. Being fiscally responsible for all the financial transactions, I am prepared for this position. I've been a treasurer practically my whole life. I realize that it is a huge responsibility to take care of your money. And as a treasurer, my primary goal will be to do my best for the taxpayer and keep your money, keeping your money safe is priority. You are the ones I will work for, and you are the ones that I will answer to. There's some important information concerning the county's investment. The treasurer has to follow strict guidelines of the Public Funds Investment Act and have the commissioner's approval. Final decisions about the investments are not made by the treasurer. Information is supplied to the court to make that decision. The treasurer does not have the sole power to invest. I will follow those guidelines and keep your tax dollars safe. As of now, the revised investment policy is currently being reviewed and has not been approved by the court. I will be a full-time treasurer. As an elected official, I will make sure that there is better communication between the departments and always have an open door for transparency available to you. I want the employees to be cross-trained as well as I do. I will be cross-trained. I will be the one who will ultimately be um, answer as the department head. I love Parker County and I have always wanted to enter public service and I have for a long time. I have the experience, the integrity, the money managing, bookkeeping, and the people skills that are needed to manage the office. It's time to let the voters decide who they want as their treasurer. I am the common sense choice and I would be honored to have your vote. Good evening. I'm Jenny Barnwell and I am your Parker County Treasurer. I was appointed to this position back in May of 2013 to fill the unexpired term of the late Jim Thorpe. I want you to know that I have over 32 years of combined business and investment experience. And since being appointed your County Treasurer, I have revised the investment policy, which is up for approval this coming Monday with the court. I've also implemented the new financial system that the county previously purchased. We have a brand new payroll system, accounts payable, and accounts receivable program. All high of standard art for technology. All of my staff are already cross-trained. They don't need any more training. What I do want you to know about this position is, it's not just that the treasurer is the banker, the reconciler, the negotiator for bank depository contracts, the custodian for collateral of sheriff's bail bond money, payroll administrator. This is about the fiduciary responsibility of managing your taxpaying dollars, and there's millions there to manage. I have that experience because I've managed millions before. And it is a very serious and important part of this job. That money has been sitting in money market accounts way too long, earning very little interest and not helping the county and you at all. I am the only candidate that has the ability to implement investment strategies and a plan that can make this county money 
money that can be used for a judicial system later on, hire new employees, or give raises. However, the county needs to use that money. I'm the one that has the ability to do that. I have all of the experience. I'm the only candidate that applied for this position because I wanted this position. There were over 40 applications that came in. That was whittled down to 18, then to five, and then I was appointed. I want to keep this position because I enjoy it. I have a lot more to do, and I know what the Public Funds Investment Act allows me to do, and with the guidance, I can do that. I thank you and ask for your vote. Ms. Big, just a moment ago, you uh, said you had experience on running a small business. Can you be a little more specific and tell us how you feel that qualifies you to be the county treasurer? Yes, we give million dollars. Our, our, our business grew from nothing to a million dollar business. It's reported to the state, reported to TCEQ, we had program reported to the EPA. I mean, it's five accounts. We had five accounts in our um, bank. Banking accounts, multiple, um, that's just in our business. We're lien holders on our personal end. We're lien holders, we have rent houses, so I'm used to a lot of bookkeeping and financial. My whole life has been financial. But as far as the business, multi million dollar business, um, five accounts, at least five accounts, daily, you know, the oil company with convenience stores. If anyone knows how to run a convenience store, it's Constant. Okay, this question will be for both of you. Uh, what specific investment experience do you have and how much money have you managed at one time? I have 13 years of investment experience. I have acquired all of the licenses that were required in order to have a business as an investment broker. I have managed well over $70 million in my own business before. I have helped plan uh, multiple portfolios for people to retire on and uh, manage our own businesses. My husband and I have had several businesses ourselves. As far as my investment, um, a lot of the investments, you have these guidelines to follow for the county. So you don't have to have all this investment experience because, and we did, I did have personal investments managed personal investments, our business is a million dollars, but being able to follow the guidelines, there's an external broker being able to get those people and say, hey, what can you give me and present that is more of the investment. In following the Public Funds Investment Act, being able to go in and say, hey, show me this, being a common sense person, the, the investment right now, made, it made such least a tiny bit of amount that it wouldn't even pay the gas for the deputy's vehicles for a year. So we're not talking a lot of interest money. We're talking very low interest money. So it's not like it's thousands of dollars in interest. And the interest money is not even part of the budget. It's extra money. That goes right into the next question. This is also for both of you. Can you tell us approximately how much investment income Parker County made last year? The interest off of two uh, of the money market accounts was a little, around $6,000 in interest. Um, and that's really rather pitiful because there are other investment options out there. It takes a lot of knowledge to know how to visit with a broker that sits on the other side of the table with you. You can, and I can, manage that money a lot more efficiently, and we can at least be making 0.50%, which would bring in, off of the money that we have, between $250,000 and $300,000 a year in interest income. That is a lot more than what we are doing now, and that is money that the county can The money on the interest, do you as taxpayers want that money in this volatile economy risk? You can make some money, but if you lose one cent as your, your taxpayer money, that's not good. You 
can make some money. And where it is, it could probably it could be bumped up some. It could be looked at, but not risk. In this economy, the taxpayer does not want their money risked. Thank <laughs> you.